like super spontaneous kind of adventure day. So people will go and get like day drunk there. It is a perfect day. Very yummy. It's nice to have these memories. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to a new vlog. If you're new, welcome. My name is Ivy, and if you're not, welcome back. Today, we're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure. First, I'm gonna get ready and then I'll explain to you guys where we're going, but I wanted to enter the vlog and say welcome to the vlog. I hope you guys are having the most amazing day and I love you guys. I didn't even update you guys, I got dressed. I'm literally wearing, I wore this, I don't know, the other day, this black little crop and jeans and I am gonna take a couple outfits with us because, I mean, you guys would've already saw by the title, uh, we are going to Fredericksburg today, so we're taking a little trip, and I'm putting Moroccan oil in my hair so I can flat iron it because it looks crazy. We are going on a mini little road trip today, and we're just going to adventure. Trevor and I really haven't like explored a lot since we've been back. If you guys don't know what Fredericksburg is and you're in the area or you just are curious and you're not in the area and you want to see us go on our little daily adventure. Fredericksburg is a little German town and they have a lot of like history there but also like fun little shopping. It's cute. It's like a little cute western town and I wrote down some areas that I want to go see that I've heard good things about. It's really just like random we just want I wanted to since he has a week off go do something because last time he had time off we didn't really it was like raining for the entire week so we really couldn't do anything we were planning on going to like San Antonio and stuff and none of that could happen because it was raining all week so we are going to take this opportunity and just go see Fredericksburg again. The last time we were there was like two years ago. We went on a mini vacay with his parents just to visit and it was really nice. It was more of like a chill vibes type of town. A lot of like the attraction to there is they have, they have lots of, ow, they have lots of wineries so people will go and get like day drunk there off wine obviously you guys know i don't really drink like that so i don't think i'm gonna be drinking any wine i might get some but i don't know just because i don't drink like that but i love when people get litty i'm more of like a social drinker like i'll drink like if I'm in a social setting or at a party or like whatever, but most of the time I don't. Just a personal preference, but I am never opposed to people who do. I don't really care. It is about almost two hours away from where we live, but I mean we're not doing anything today anyways. So we figured let's go on a little day trip. I'm gonna just get ready, do my makeup, and then you guys will come. On and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me I finished sign. doing my makeup. And Trevor made a smoothie. We're about to leave here in a little while. I just have to get a couple different tops because I want to take some different photos because there's a lot of places to take photos there. So, that's what I'm going to do. You guys are going to come along. I just wanted something for breakfast, so I told Trevor to make a smoothie for us. We're about to be on our way. Are you excited? Hey. We haven't hey. went to Fredericksburg in a long time. Yeah, I was telling them we, it's we been. Really 
I know that's what I was telling them too. I was like, we decided to just have like a like super spontaneous kind of adventure day. We were also gonna go to Gruen. So if you guys know anything about Gruen, Texas, it's like near San Marcos, I think. It's kind of on the outskirts of San Antonio. So if you guys know any fun things to do near San Antonio, let a girl know. But we just decided to go to Fredericksburg today because it's like a cute little small town. I was telling them that they're known for like wine and drinking and stuff like that. We don't really drink very often, but maybe we'll have a glass of wine and with like whatever meal we decide to eat. Trevor's just gonna real quick check the oil and the coolant in the car and everything before we head out. I like to do that every single time. We are about to leave on like a little mini road trip just in case. So that's what he's doing. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little update and tell you where we're going. We're about to leave here in a minute. We are officially on the road. I'm drinking the smoothie that Trevor made for us. I told him that it was good that we made the smoothie because now we won't be hungry on the way there and we won't be tempted to like just grab something fast. Plus they have a lot of like places to eat in Fredericksburg. By the time we get there, we'll be hungry. Yeah. Did you used to go to Fredericksburg a lot as a kid? Not really, I've been there like twice. Really? Yeah. So you've only been there one time before me? Yeah, I mean, I went there one time with David and mm -hmm. we took like a little day trip and he took me to go get something for the property because there was nothing in, uh, nothing in Cherokee mm -hmm. or uh, Lano. And we just took a little day trip and just hung out. And then I went with my folks, like actually went like, twice. The one time with you and then the one time with my folks. How old were you? Uh, anywhere from 16 to 18. I think I'm pretty much done with this. I like to make sure when me and Trevor go on road trips together that I eat something because then I get grumpy or I'm grumpy. The <laughs> he can vouch for this. I get so grumpy. Hold on. I get so grumpy if I don't have something in my stomach, at least in the morning. Like, if I don't have something in my stomach and I tell myself, like, oh, I can wait until blah, blah, blah. Like, no, I cannot wait until blah, blah, blah. Like, I need at least, like, a granola bar, some water. Like, I, at least I know myself better now because I used to be like, no, it's fine. And then I was, like, pissed off for half the day because I was like, I'm hungry. But, yeah. So I'm glad that we that he made this. It actually came out really good. It did? Mm-hmm. Oh. Trevor never makes our smoothies. No, I don't. It's Maybe only me. I don't make food. You make uh, Yeah. Yesterday when I came home, I told him I was like, because he cut his hair. And I told him I was like, we need to eat at home more. Especially like when we're not like out and about and we're just like in town, we need to eat at home more. And after he went and got his um his haircut, he's like, I really want some whatever. I was like, no, go home and make a sandwich. I'm gonna be there soon. I walk in the house and he's making craft macaroni and cheese and a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So yeah, Trevor, Trevor it does not cook a lot. I'm teaching him more. just got to Fredericksburg we're in like the outskirts we're about two minutes from like the downtown area it's a little overcast over here but really not bad 86 degrees 86 not that bad but we're gonna come down here to downtown we haven't been over here in a really long time what we're thinking we're gonna do is we're gonna probably park somewhere and kind of walk around with you guys show you what the little town looks like then we're probably going to grab some food or we can go oh there's like so many cute little places over here like this is cute it's just a cute little town so we just got out of the car sorry it's a truck coming by but we parked in this area over here and they have maps so at least that's nice 
It was a specific museum. I know it wasn't the National Pacific War Museum because we've already done that in Hawaii. Historic district. We actually decided to get back in the car and kind of drive around a little bit just to make sure that we're gonna be in the area that we wanna be in and we can just try and find a parking. They have like side parkings here so you can literally just like pull off to the side and park on the side. Kinda like how these people are right here. We're gonna kind of adventure around a little bit, see where we wanna check out. I just wanted to show you guys a lot of like the town and the little shops that they have. Like they have lots of little boutiques and this is actually the more like dead part of town compared to the other side of town. I feel like it's a lot more busy. There's a lot more tourists. This is kind of where we're just looking around right now. These look like a bunch of little German restaurants. Yeah, this looks like a lot of eating places. Peach basket. Peach basket. Oh, they have cute little baskets. Oh, they have CBD there too. They have lots Coffee of stuff house. here. I have a couple places uh, written down so that we can eat. I found this little place that I want to take a photo in front of with Trevor. The, the thing about this place is it's very like German inspired obviously because it was from German in immigrants, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, that's a why it's inspired. 120 immigrants from 1846. We'll learn a lot of this stuff once we go to the little museum that I have on my list. There's little places for that are just like cute and off the road, so I figured me and Trevor would take some photos together. We're off the main West road. Main We're on West Main Street. I think this is a business. I'm pretty sure it's not like a... I'm pretty sure this is not someone's home, but it's off the main road, and I just want to take some photos in front of it. I think it's like an Airbnb actually. But it looked so cute. So I just want to take a couple photos of Trevor real quick. You guys saw us just taking some photos there this street is very busy so keep that in mind but this is near first mark credit union so if you guys want to come take photos people are i don't know they just mind their own business here if i'm being honest so we took a couple cute photos i got some good ones but it's very hot outside so now we're i'm pretty sure we're gonna move on to the other area like more towards like where all the touristy stuff is and let's go get in the car yeah so that way if you guys know or are looking for where this is it's literally right off the road next to Chevron and the first mark credit union but yeah they're very pretty I'm thinking these are Airbnbs do you think these are I think so yeah it has its own little entrance yeah. That's what I'm thinking they are. They look like that's what it would be. Okay, it's hot. It is very hot. We just took the photos, got in the car. There's a, there's a fly. Baby, just open the window. I'm gonna look through the photos real quick. Also, for those who don't know, cause I'm not gonna assume everybody knows about this. The way I take my own photos is with the Lens Buddy app. You can just put it on a self timer and take your own photos so yeah did you enjoy it it was really yeah. cute like it came out cute yeah there's a couple that are really cute hold on see so guys you guys are probably gonna see this eventually on instagram but i'll just show them to you hopefully they're not blurry hold on yeah there you go i had to focus it on it but i'm gonna go through them some of them are really cute but like obviously these where you're getting the hair out of my face yeah so now we're gonna start moving towards the more touristy part of town and there is like a couple different spots that i want us to go take photos at one is like near a lake that i've heard is really really pretty so do you want to do that before we eat lunch or you want to do before. that after before okay so these spots are i made a list 
Do you have the name? Things. Sorry, I'm just typing in. Yes. One is Magnolia Pearl. That one's just to take photos outside of it. And the other place is put Magnolia Pearl first and then we'll go there. But it's just a really pretty like the outside of it. I've heard that it's overpriced inside, like it's very like boutique -y type of stuff, but I really just want to take a photo outside of it. Das Das Peach House. Hoss Hoss. House good. Well, because they they oh, pr they pronounce it differently. So yeah, those are the two places that I want to take photos at before we eat and then after that it's pretty chill from there. Oh, they also have a wine castle. Did you know they have a castle here? This is what I meant when I said they have lots and lots of like little places. They even have like a dog store right there. They have lots of little like antique places. This is a Christmas store. Literally it says the Christmas store. And lots of little shops on either side. So we'll probably come over here most likely after we eat so that way we can walk off our food a little bit. But we're gonna go to, where are we going first? Uh, Magnolia. Magnolia Pearl. Magnolia Pearl. Picture outside. See, we're at Magnolia Pearl. It says that it's closed, which is fine with me because I just wanted a photo. Why does it, why do I feel like it looks different from the photos? Oh, it's back there maybe? Yeah, it's being constructed on. So, what were you wanting to take a photo of? I was wanting to take a photo in front of the thing, but I think they're constructing it. Go back there, I want to see it. I had no idea. They had like a cute little building that I wanted to take a photo in front of, but it looks like they're under construction and the construction people are over here. Well, that was a bust. We can go to the next place then. Change of plans. That was a little bit of a bust. Magnolia Pearl, I had no idea was being constructed or there, it was under construction. So now we are going to Doss Peach House or Haas. I don't want to like mispronounce it, so I'm sorry. Das I just. Peach House. Das Peach Haas? Okay, yeah. I didn't want to like mispronounce it. But yeah, we're only five miles away, so we're going back towards like where we were, towards the main town. The last time we came, I think I told you guys, was with his parents. We came on like a mini little vacation just to get out, and it was nice last time. So yeah, now we're gonna go to Das Peach ha Haas and. I heard that the views are amazing. They have a little shop, so I'll take you guys around in there. Magnolia Pearl was not open. Hopefully, they'll like be quick to construct it, or since it's under construction. But I do have a list of like things that we can do. We can go to Wild Seed Farm again. Do you remember that? Where we went last time with my bows? Yeah. I'm down for whatever. You yeah. know I don't care. I had a lot of like their own jellies and preserves and stuff like that or if we find stuff at any of the other places we can go there too yeah. so i didn't even see where wine castle was i should have saw where wine castle is let me look it up let's see where wine castle is because if we're closer to wine castle we can just go there first you know what i mean yeah it's like a ways away it's like 20 miles away that's like worth it to go if we're gonna be driving for 20 miles in the opposite direction, you know what I mean? It's that way? Yeah, it's like that way. Okay. We got time. It's three. We got time, but we don't got time. No, we'll come over here and see what how it is and what it looks like, but all you're gonna see out here, guys, is like Texas hill country, basically. Like, you see a lot of people growing vines for wine. I didn't even know that that there was like a wine country in Texas. Maybe that was like stupid of me. But I remember the first time we came, I was just like low-key shook. Were we, we were of age when we came, right? Yep. Like we could already drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah because I turned 21, like the six months into being in Hawaii. Yeah. So, yeah. Now we're headed that way. They also have like little shops with like signs and little windmills and stuff like that, little small businesses. So after we go to like our little spots that I feel like would be really scenic, we're going to walk around, we're gonna eat and then walk around the city so that I can show you guys a little bit of 
the surroundings and the little businesses that are around here as well. It's actually turned out to be a perfect day. It's not like overcast or like gloomy. It's actually nice and sunny. Yeah, it's perfect. It is a perfect day. This is Das Peach House. Das Peach House. Oh, park. It says what? parking. What? Parking. God, this place oh, is confusing. Oh gosh. Trevor already made a wrong turn on the way here. Reserved for persons with limited mobility. So okay, we can we have nothing but mobility, so we can park somewhere else. Trevor took a wrong turn and he's not having it right now. No, I'm not. Stupid. I was wondering why the camera was so close to you and I realized I didn't zoom out. But yeah. We, we're here. I was like, why does his head look so big in the camera? You look at me like, man, you got oh fat my gosh. Head. But yeah, we just made it here. <laughs> <laughs> You're supposed to do it back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ah, okay, we're ready to go inside. I'm so excited. And apparently out back they have, this is why I wanted to come. Because they have a lake in the back of it. Really? Yeah, I'm very excited. Okay, let's go. Uh, I think I want to take my little person there. Will you help me real quick? And extra battery chargers for my camera, just in case. All righty. And a lip gloss. Um, is my mini tripod in there? I got all your tripods in here. Perfect. But yeah, it looks so freaking cute in here, guys. Look. Literally a storybook dream. Trevor's being really nice to me and is carrying my backpack yep. with all of my tripods. But look, isn't it so beautiful? I was trying to do one thing at a time, but there's Trevor. Look, that's where they have like, I'm assuming all of their like peach preserves and their wines and stuff. But back here, they have like a lake. Can we walk through there? And huh? This is a no smoking. Can we walk through there or no? Or we have to walk like this way? Wait, there's people back there. Oh, that's where I need to go. Okay, sorry. I was like, where are we going? Sorry. That was my fault. I thought I was going the wrong way. Or I was going the wrong way. I thought I was going the right way. But yeah, Trevor's just being nice and is carrying my backpack with all of my like filming stuff. Yeah. We'll have to check it out. Maybe we can find some preserves or something. We go this way. People pouring wine in there. Trying to get wine drunk, Trevor? I mean, it won't take much. <laughs> yeah, if you guys don't know, Trevor's a pretty much a lightweight. Yeah, because I don't Yeah, Trevor doesn't really drink. It's not, a, it's not that I have problems or anything. It's that I just don't drink. It's just not a choice. But yeah, look at how beautiful it is back here. Pine trees are not something you typically see in Texas Hill Country. That's what it looks like. Looks like a butt. <laughs> of course, Trevor's like, it looks like a butt. But yeah, they have little areas that you can sit at. Isn't that so cool? Yeah. This is so Water cute. Is surprisingly clear. Oh my god, look at that fish. Where? Right there, past the lily pads, right there. The black fish moving. I don't even see it. You see? No, I don't. See the fishes down there? Yeah, oh, I see, I see one over there, yeah. You can't see it on camera. See it? Yeah. That's huge. Cute little lily pads and the chairs. good husband and putting the tripod away for me. Love you. Love you. This backpack came in handy. Okay. Trevor has my purse but he wants to walk over there because they have some elephant ears and little spots. Huh? Even my knee is fat. Baby you could have given me my purse. I got it. 
Moving over here, there's a little bit more shade. There's a log. The male version of Dory the Explorer. You're what? Hey, I'm the male version of Dory the Explorer. So you're Diego? Yeah. <laughs> you got a color shirt on. My shorts have pockets. My shorts have pockets. Look, see? I have elephant ear over here. Little log. Huh? Good day. It was literally the perfect day. Guys, you guys missed it. <laughs> I got <laughs> hit right in the neck. It was attacked by a I was attacked. Chicken. It was horrible. <laughs> I feel violated. Um, a cricket. Literally, me and Trevor were walking around the pond and it hit me right in my neck. And I freaked out and I told Trevor, I was like, it would have been perfect if I was recording because then you guys would have seen me being viciously attacked by a cricket. But it was funny in the moment. Not funny when it was happening, but afterwards I laughed about it. So now we are leaving here and we are gonna go grab food. And But it was really, really nice and peaceful here. So if you guys wanna come, it is Das Peach Hoss. I'll leave a link down below so that way you guys know what I'm talking about. Also, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen you would have seen me post about it, so if you don't follow me and you want to, you can go over there. But are you hungry? Yes, I am. So now we're gonna go back to the main like town to go grab something to eat because it's hot outside. <sighs> Luckily, we were only about six minutes away from where we're gonna eat. We're eating at a place called uh, Hondos. Yeah, so it's over here off of the main road. Like I said, we're probably gonna go walk around a little bit since there's a lot of like cute little shops over here. But we're gonna eat at Hondo's, which I saw is over here somewhere. And this is Hondo's. It's very like cute Western outside. So are you ready to eat? I am. Yay. Hi. It's up to you, I don't care. We just looked at the menu and I'm gonna get the best barbecue brisket plate and Trevor decided that he's gonna get enchiladas so We'll see if he likes them. They actually have like, everything's like scanned as you go. So we just scanned it and looked here. They have a lot of stuff. Um, we're gonna have like lunches and sandwiches. I'll show you guys the food. I've heard good things about it. Like I saw a whole bunch of TikToks talking about it and that's how I found this place. So if you guys are going to like a new place, I definitely suggest looking on TikTok to see if they have like anyone that has recommended things to do there because that's how I found most of the places that we're going to today was literally through TikTok. Everyone to go order our food because he had to go order it at the bar and we decided to sit outside and it's a pretty chill atmosphere out here. People are eating, chilling, smoking, whatever and we're sitting over here and it's four o'clock and it took us two hours to drive here and we got here at two, so we've been here for about two hours. I was telling Trevor that we should get desserts later, yeah. before we leave. What kind of dessert? They have a candy store, so I got cake shop. Really? Let's see. Let's look around on the phone. Clear River Ice Cream Bakery in Delhi. Look at the first photo that I see. Oh, wow. That's a lot of ice cream. That is. See, but I'm not an ice cream person. I'm like a pastry person. Yeah, well, let's look at pastries. Well, I think they have pastries here, too. Me and Trevor are foodies. We got our food. Let's see. It looks yummy. This smells good. Oh, we need a, a fork. Yeah. Do they have any in there? Here you go. Ooh. 
cool, guys. It looks good. Hondos. Trevor <laughs> unfortunately did not like his enchiladas but also like we're at like an American style place to eat and I always tell him I've told him this before that never get Mexican food at like an American place because it's not not that it won't be good but it's just like not as good. you're not gonna get what you would expect out of like a Mexican dish most of the time um, but they were super understanding and nice and they saw that Trevor didn't eat any of his food So they gave us a refund for his plate, which we didn't even ask for so that was really nice of them Yeah, which I had told Trevor. I was like We can get you something else like it's okay. And he's like no He's like I would just rather like me and him eat off of my plate, but the brisket was really bomb it was really good and because Trevor hates fat on his brisket, there was no fat on that brisket. No, there wasn't. Like not even a little bit. Trevor doesn't like like the what is it? The gristle. The gristle. Do you want to walk down the strip that way? Kind of walk. walk off our uh, some of our food. That's far. No, we're gonna like drive that way and then walk a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, no, I'm not saying walk all the way. I'm not saying walk all the way there. Huh? You're buckled, right? Yes, I'm buckled. But yeah, we're gonna walk down the down the little strip over there a little bit, and I think that's. Oh, we wanted to go to the museum. Well, we can go to the museum first if you want, or we can walk. Um, I think it was. Oh yeah, the Pioneer Museum right there. But I don't know. I don't know how to get in there. But yeah. Perfect, because we were right here. The Pioneer Museum that I was wanting to take Trevor to is right here, which just tells us a little bit about the town. This is what it looks like. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And it says over there, like the Pioneer Museum. So we made it here, but it closes in 15 minutes. And we don't want to be those people that like keep people who are working at their job. So we're just going to go further down and go walk since it literally closes. We've been here for a minute. We have. It doesn't feel like we've been here for a minute, but we have. I also changed shoes because I had to put on my comfy shoes to walk, but the car's right here. So we're gonna get back in the car, make our way down and then do a little bit of walking. Made it inside the 99 cent store. They have a lot of like Texas memorabilia and little like coffee mugs and stuff. Remember the last time we were in here with Luke? <laughs> they have lots of little knickknacks. This is like the 99 cent store here. Little like toys. Look, they even have glassware, babe. Trevor. <laughs> Trevor, snake. <gasps> Hell no. Ooh. <laughs> <clears throat> they have like cooking stuff here too. Look, a mini little kitchen set. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk and We went into a couple different shops just to kind of look around. We went into a candy shop, but there was quite a couple people in there yeah. and nothing that we really wanted, but we did want a sweet. And there is this place that's right down the strip over here and it's called Twisted Sisters Bake Shop. So we're gonna go get a little bit of a sweet treat over here. 
and I'll show you guys the inside. Go on in here, just the sister's bake shop. Thank you. Oh. Hi, guys. We're back in the car. We took a long walk because we didn't think that the dessert place was as far as it was, but now we're going home. It's been a long day. We did a lot of stuff for such a short period of time. Three hours. We were here for three hours, but yeah, I had fun. Yeah, I had fun too. It was nice. It was nice to just get out of our normal routine. So. Now we're gonna start heading home. It's really hot though, so I'll probably update you guys a little bit after I cool down because it was really hot. So we're gonna cool down for a little while and then I'll show you guys the treats that we ended up getting at the dessert place. We stopped right outside to pump some gas. Trevor actually went into the gas station. He said he's gonna go use the restroom and grab himself like I'm pretty sure an Arizona sweet tea. So that's what we're doing right now. I'm literally, you guys can tell I'm sweaty cause like, look at that shine. But we had a lot of fun. We don't really do stuff like this often, like just go on day trips. So this was really, really fun. And especially now that Trevor can go farther cause I don't know if you guys know, but because of the pandemic, they weren't allowing people to go very far from base so now that Trevor can go farther we can go visit a lot more places that we've been wanting to so if you guys liked this little travel vlog let me know down below in the comments I'm pretty sure you guys did because I know that you guys love when I record my adventures that I go on in general but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it's not over yet obviously because we have to go home and I think I'm gonna make Trevor something to eat unless he decides to stop off but they gave us back the money for his meal at Hondo's because he literally he just wasn't enjoying the food so he ate off of my plate and me and him ate the plate together I didn't even show you the treats that we got at Twisted Sisters barbecue or er, barbecue Twisted Sisters bake shop I think that's what it's called I got this uh, I'm sorry I have to keep the door open because it's hot in here and Trevor was pumping gas but this is a cookie cheesecake so that's what that looks like it looks very very yummy and then Trevor got a apple fritter thing and I got a wedding cookie so, just for us to try out, this is what Trevor's apple cookie looks like. Ah, hopefully you guys can see that. Yeah. It looks like a mini little apple pie. So, those are the little sweet treats that we got from there. And they were nice enough to give us a bag so that we could put our stuff in. That's what we got from there. And we're about to head home. I just wanted, I'm really happy that I like vlogged this experience coming to Fredericksburg because I have last time I was here I wasn't a vlogger like I didn't vlog I didn't do social media or anything like that so I didn't remember a lot of what we did when we came last time and it's nice to have these memories it was really really fun and Trevor kept telling me throughout the day he's like this was fun like we need to do this more often so maybe we'll go to another little town in Texas again and we'll do another little travel vlog. Look, here comes Trevor. What'd you get? I got your hot Cheetos. Oh, I didn't want any, but thank you. You wanna give a little haul of what you got? There you go. Here. Sorry guys, I had to put the air on. I'm gonna lower it real quick. He got an Arizona Sweet tea. Mm -hmm. So this is your gas station. These are your gas station munchies. Well, the hot Cheetos. Are for me. The hot gonna, Cheetos are for me. Yeah, I'm not gonna munch at all. But I saw those. They were the same price. And as, like, at the store. I forgot to buy Trevor his boxes yesterday. But you didn't tell me that you were out of them. But in I was. My defense. It's funny. I was about to call you. I had my phone in my hand, and then you were at the door. I was like, oh. oh, I gave them a little overview of what we got at um, Twisted Sisters Bakery. Yeah. Yeah. So, are you excited? Did you have fun today? Yeah. 
I really did. I'm always trying to